Good morning, everybody. I hope you all had a good weekend. We're going to start this Monday with a quick tip for those who are using the Chrome application for a web browser. Now, I've previously shown you how to enable developer mode for Android itself, but not many people know that there is a developer mode for the Chrome application. And we can find that and enable this by opening up the Chrome application, tapping the three dot menu at the top right so that we can dive into the settings area. And from here, we want to scroll down until you see the about Chrome section it should be at the bottom. And it's on this page that you should see three different entries here. We have the application version, the operating system, and some legal information. We're going to ignore the bottom two. We're just going to tap on the application version entry, this top one, about seven to ten times. After a few taps, you should see a notification down there at the bottom, a little toast message saying that developer options has now been enabled. And whenever you go back to the settings area of Chrome, you should see a new entry here labeled developer options. Now, depending on which version of Chrome you currently have installed, along with what Google is currently developing inside of Chrome, you're going to see either one entry here zero entries here or a number of different options here. As of right now, there is only a tracing option within the developer options hidden menu in Chrome. Now tracing is the process of logging information while the program, in this instance Chrome, is running or just while it's being executed. So if you're noticing a bunch of issues in Chrome, it may benefit you to troubleshoot this issue by monitoring the tracing area so that you can diagnose performance problems while you're using Chrome, whether it's maybe a plugin you're using, a website you're visiting, the tracing feature built into Chrome that's hidden away in the developer options menu can be beneficial. So if you ever decide to record a trace, the tracing feature itself will record activity in Chrome's processes. For example, it will record C++ or JavaScript method signatures for each thread in each process. And you can get a lot of information from these traces to help you identify things such as performance bottlenecks, slow operations, and events with irregular links, such as leading to frame rate variation. And from here, you can see we have default, default categories for tracing. So if you don't need certain categories to be traced, again, this is a lot of information. You can disable most of them just so that you can narrow in on, say, download or download service so that you can find out what's going on whenever you try to download a file that's messing up. You can also go in here and select categories to disable by default. And we can change the tracing mode because again, there's a lot of information that can come from here. So we can either record until full, we can record until full with a large buffer, or we can just record continuously. This is not something that every person will want to do with Chrome, but if you're developing an application or a website and you're noticing some issues, this tracing issue within the developer mode hidden menu in Chrome can definitely help.